Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time we're going to paint the sunflower. <laughs> and look, I've got myself a petal. I uh, broke off one of the sunflowers, one of the back petals. So it's not made much of a difference. And uh, instead of cutting the whole thing off, which I don't want to do, because I like the sunflowers in the garden. I <laughs> don't want to bring them in, but I do want the colour of this. It's almost chrome yellow, almost pure chrome yellow. Well, I'll show you. The chrome yellow that I've got, and you can't get chrome, well, you can get chrome yellow, but it's poisonous. <laughs> so it's a chrome yellow hue. But look, it's almost exact. Almost. But that's straight out of the tube. Yeah, it was a popular colour among uh, artists. Chrome yellow. Um, but you can mix anything now. <laughs> well, you could then, really. Just they didn't know. I mean, there's a lot of things that they didn't know about. And they was using lead white, wasn't they? That's poisonous. I wouldn't use it. Titanium white, just as good. Not poisonous. <laughs> so, we've got a blank canvas. It's uh, been gessoed white by me. Because <laughs> what I do is I stretch my own canvases. And uh, it's good fun doing that. So I'm going to use a little bit, of really small amount. Oh, I haven't got any water. Oh, I need a little bit of water. Only a little bit. A little bit of water on my brush. So I want to draw in the uh, the sunflower. So I want my sunflower to live about there. I think I, I was gauging what size I wanted it <laughs> using my scaler. The reason I do that is because when I'm using a reference picture, sometimes my brain starts copying the reference picture and if the reference picture isn't um, very big you start painting small <laughs> well I do strange that so that's that's about it, about that size and then the centre probably about that Yeah, that's about right. So that's an easy way of getting your flower. And then uh, imagine the stem sort of, maybe it's going wee like that. And then, and there's another one behind that goes sort of there. And then we've got a leaf coming down here. And another leaf in there. Well, we can paint all this as we go. Well, I might do that one. Not there. And there. Background one there. There's another there as well, but do I need it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll work that out as we go. So I sat out there looking at the sunflowers, watching the bees and stuff, enjoying it. Watching it wave in the wind. Just enjoying uh, Appreciating nature. Appreciating nature, the natural world. 
That's what I appreciate the most, actually. That's why I like walking in the woods, enjoying the natural world and everything in it. And I always get a little bit sad when I come out of the woods and uh, see cars driving around and <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I go into a, uh, a time, I go into a time machine and then I come back out of it and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I suppose it's an escapism thing. You can get a bit wrapped up in work and finances and all the other rubbish that comes with it. <laughs> paying bills, paying rent, paying for your car tax, all that stuff. Just not interested in it. <laughs> right, let's get this painting going. So I've got some colours, look. So here's my colours, titanium white, chrome yellow, sap green, cadmium red, which is leaking a bit, um, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, and cerulean blue. And what I'm creating is a cerulean blue, ultramarine blue mix here, which we'll have for our sky. And I'm doing it brighter. Brighter and lighter than the photo because the photo um, made the sky bluer and stronger and darker because the sunflower's so bright. The uh, yeah, the camera, well, my phone had to mess around a little bit to get things on the camera as a picture. <laughs> yeah, that's a good explanation. <laughs> So let's blue things up. I'm sure you know what I mean. I'm not much of a uh, scientist. <laughs> I'm still learning about photography, to be honest. I'm trying to get better at uh, videography because I want to start making some uh, high quality episodes. Gonna make some, uh, well, the plan is I'm gonna make some longer episodes. I'll put on a website or something that I can use to fund the channel because the, uh, well, basically, I have to do overtime <laughs> at work to fund myself to be able to buy paints to be able to do this. And unfortunately, I can't really afford it. <laughs> So I thought to myself, what can I do? To earn enough money to do this as well as not having to do overtime to continue doing things like this. That's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> that or busking in town. And uh, I can't play any instruments, so... Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And also, I'm going to start selling my paintings, which I need to get going on. Because... Just looking in the galleries, for art for sale. There was paintings in there for sale. Quite a lot of money. And... Uh, and I thought, well, I could paint that. <laughs> I could do that. So I need to get cracking. I need to get things moving. To be honest with you, I'd rather just uh, hide out in the woods and just do paintings. <laughs> I don't really bothered about selling paintings. I was thinking about it the other day, actually. I don't think Van Gogh shot himself because he couldn't sell paintings. I think he shot himself because 
because of the uh, torment of his brother having to foot his bill all the time, I think, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Because poor Vincent, he lived in extreme poverty and I've never lived in extreme poverty where you don't have any food. So badly malnutrition that your teeth are dropping out. I've never lived in that kind of poverty. <laughs> so it must have been difficult. I can imagine. You can only imagine, can't you? Because you don't know. It is a hard thing to do, painting. It's not an easy thing, is it? Look at me slopping that paint on. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm trying not to do just that. Not yet, anyway. Let's whip it off. Don't want to slop paint on, not yet. What I'm doing at the moment is uh, on this picture, I'm looking for these blue bits. I'm just starting to block them in. That's in the wrong place. Don't really like this leaf that's there so I won't have it. Don't know if I want this one. back have a look at this have a look at that I don't like that on there so I'll just keep this as it is you've got to make decisions as you go because your plan might be good but you don't want to be stuck in that plan because things happen and you want to be able to change things and do things that you want to do Nothing worse than being stuck. <laughs> stuck in the mud. Nothing worse than getting stuck. I know, um, I've studied writing. Um, quite, I do like writing, but I'm not, um, didn't do very, let's just say I didn't do that good at school, so. creative writing I was all right at. and I studied writing and something that one of the writers said but I thought was really funny and uh, it kind of goes with painting as well this writer he says a lot of writers write themselves into a box and they can't get out <laughs> and they they put themselves in like almost a writer's prison <laughs> I thought that was really interesting that writers do that. And then I thought to myself, well, we kind of do that as painters as well. It's, it's a creative thing that we do as painters and we'll have to do like, I don't know, let's say we follow someone's technique precisely and then we paint ourselves into a box because we painted ourselves into that technique and you lose all of your own ability because you're not being you. <laughs> Something else um, I'm not keen on at the moment. It's useful when you're learning, don't get me wrong. Artist critiques. Critiquing, having an artist critiquing your work. Um, I have done it, I've 
done it myself, I've had it done to me. Um, but I started to realize that there's an, that's another way of creating a artist block. A, uh, if you if you rely on people saying you should do this, you should do that, then you're no longer you. So it doesn't really help, does it? It's preventing you from growth. And that's another way of not allowing yourself to have growth. But it can be very useful. <laughs> I think it's more useful if you're making something up. If you're making something up from scratch, I think it's more useful. If you're using reference like I am now, um, then you could paint it exactly the same, or you could do what you like, and there is the enjoyment. And if you're not enjoying yourself, doing what you like, well, what have you got? Nothing. <laughs> You've got someone else telling you what to do. And uh, we want to get better as painters. We want to improve all the time. And it's nice to get some help. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes people try and help and it's useless. <laughs> So anyone sending me critiques, don't bother because I'm not interested. Please stop. <laughs> it's a funny thing actually because uh, <laughs> I am joking. I'm half joking. I don't want any critiques. I really don't. But um, it's a funny thing because the rules of art are a good thing to learn. They really are. And the colour theory and everything. It's good to learn. But then you want to throw it out the window because you want to be you. For me, I'm taking a leaf out of Constable's book. Painting is a science and it should be treated as such. Therefore, we experiment and we trial and error and we paint and we paint and we paint <laughs> and see what happens. And hopefully, at the end of it all, all the hard work, you start getting good, people start buying your pictures, and everyone lives happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be my story, my creative writing. No, I find it hard to write. Um, happy stories my stories usually end up a bit crazy <laughs> mm, what does that say about me hmm I quite like this massive leaf at the bottom I might I quite like that you wouldn't expect a big big leaf there would you goes like that. Get rid of this. Look at this. Sitting back, having a look. Quite like that. We can move a bit further. I might get rid of this down here. Don't really want this. So 
So I don't know if you've noticed, I'm uh, using a lighter blue at the base and then it goes darker as it goes up to give a bit of an illusion, a bit of an illusion. So something else I was thinking about, and uh, I was looking at Van Gogh's paintings, and uh, looking at his swirls. You know how he used swirls. I'm pretty sure I know where they came from. I don't know if it's been documented or anything, but I'm pretty sure. I feel like I'm pretty sure at the moment anyway. <laughs> the uh, swirls in the background of his self-portraits and in his light, everything. It's nature, the swirls of nature. That's my belief. It might have been said, I don't know. Right, there we go. Let's sit back and have a look at that. So yeah, we've got something there. We'll finish there and we'll uh, call that done. <laughs> This is a modern art. <laughs> I'm going to call it the unfinished sunflower. Just wiping my brush on a bit of paper. Some of that blew out. Right, let us think. We don't want any yellow <laughs> underneath green so maybe we should do the green now and then uh, on the brown as well so let's put the brown in All right let's go for it let's get some brown a bit of the red in it bit of a ready brown I'll do. let's scrub in this So this is the first of my sunflower paintings. I'm going to do another one, um, but it's going to be a secret one. <laughs> I really want to do a really complicated one, but I can't really film it because I'll be painting it for ages. <laughs> but I thought, hmm, it'd be good to do a complex one. So there's some brown. Let's get some more of the burn on burn. Put that in the middle. Yeah, dark bit. Dark bit. Always sitting back, always having a look. Always sitting back, having a look. Just touching in a bit of dark as well. So this is something I do a lot now. That sort of just dabbing. I did a portrait recently and uh, I did that in a dabby technique. <laughs> I might show that when I'm quick at it. <laughs> if I'm ever quick at it, probably won't be. Um, right, what have we got now? Got sort of an orangey dark. 
So I'm sort of thinking this shadow. It's kind of a yellow in, in amongst the brown maybe. Maybe that'll do it. Nowhere near as dark. Got to remember though. I don't want it to be as dark because yeah it's a bit lighter no, that's all right I don't want it to be too dark because I need to change things <laughs> the last of the good explanations <laughs> Dark, dark, dark. Da, 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 dark a bit. Uh, it's got a bit of yellow in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bit more yellow. Bit more chrome yellow. Chrome, yellow, and red. Let's have a look. There's a, there's a dark petal there. Something uh, you have to remember when you're doing a sunflower. There's more than the petals you see. There's petals behind. There's like layers of them. So don't forget them as well. See, I'm using the side of my brush. Even though this brush is... Yeah. It's quite big, isn't it? But you can use the side. Looking at darker areas. So I'm not worried too much at the moment. <laughs> well, I'm secretly worried. Shh. Well, don't tell anyone because I like to pretend I'm amazing. You know, I've said that before when you're painting, you want to tell yourself you're the best painter in the world because you want to be confident within yourself when you're painting and you don't want to don't want to let yourself down. <laughs> let yourself down. No, you don't. You're not going to let yourself down though, because you're going to be amazing. There's no such thing as letting yourself down, by the way. Painting is practice, 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 practice can't let yourself down because you're still working on it. Same with life really. You're working on it. <laughs> what is life? I don't know. Don't know. What's the meaning? <laughs> Oh dear, let's not get too deep. I'm an egg. I need to paint this sunflower. I don't want to be uh, thinking about the meaning of life and all that stuff. <laughs> right, what we got? What we got? What we got? I'm quite liking the start of this. This is really starting to look good. When I put this for sale, I'm going to have to put it for 300 quid, 400, thousands. It's got to be worth thousands, right? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Where's my wallet? I need to buy this one. Jason's doing another masterpiece. I need to have it. I'll send him a private message. Tell him how many million I'm going to give him for it. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So we're getting this started. We don't want to worry too much. 
much. Like I said, you don't worry. You don't need to worry. We'll get there. We're trying to paint what's behind and then... Quite happy though. So far so good anyway. So far so good. I want a bit more dark along here. Right. Dirty brush, might as well. Sap green. Sap green. A cad red. Sap green and red. Red dulls it, makes it a bit brownish. <laughs> we want it to be dull. Because then we can put the lights afterwards. Right, here we go. Shing. There it is. There it is. There it is, it's there. That's a big stalk. I like that stalk. We've got a leaf that goes around here and over there. out like that and then bring it in yeah we can do that and then uh, probably put them in there got a leaf behind it we better paint this leaf in as well here because in with that blue a little bit but we don't care we've got another leaf behind this talking. <laughs> I forgot I was filming for a second. You do that, you know. You're painting away, enjoying yourself. Totally forget. Making some more dark. Using my green, sap green, and red. Sometimes it's better number. Let's just uh, go and there we go. And then we can go boom, boom, boom. Oh. 
that. We'll keep that one dark. I didn't think I would like this leaf here. I'm considering it. Quite like that. Mind a bigger, bigger leaf that's there. The big leaf. Bum bum bum. This is the uh, the biggest, the granddaddy of leaves. This one. Have you seen how big uh, sunflower leaves get, though? <laughs> Absolutely massive. One one that's growing in the back. And I've got. Absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. I put my hand on it and it was like... <laughs> Huge. Like a giant. That's why I like them. They're gigantic. I do quite like that leaf that's behind as well. That sort of goes down and up like that. Behind. There's one there as well. One, I don't want that one. Don't think. Don't think I want that one. I think I'm okay with just that. I might put a little leaf there. I think I'm okay with that, and then I could lighten areas. So I actually did a, uh, <laughs> a sunflower painting quite a while ago. I put some in pots and uh, painted away. So I had them in the garden before. But I didn't, I didn't capture them. Well, I did, but I also didn't. <laughs> I look at the painting. It's, it's a pretty wild painting. The background's a bit crazy. I mean, it does make you... Uh, Make your eyes go wee, <laughs> and the people that have seen it have said that it makes them a bit dizzy, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, <laughs> it does make you feel dizzy actually when you look at it. So let's just clean this up with some sky color. If your colour starts mixing a bit, just throw in some more of the blue. You'll soon uh, clean it up. That's a big tip, you know. Uh, use paint. Use it. Don't sit on it. Don't think, oh, that's five quid, oh, that's ten quid. Well, this tube of paint was 50 quid. Well, <laughs> maybe not that much. But don't sit on it, use it. So many people get a load of paints and they just sit on it and they wonder why all their paint's squashed. <laughs> They'll do a couple of pictures, do one, and then they'll go, Phew, I can't do this, I don't have the uh, artistic talent like Da Vinci or Michelangelo, and uh, 
So that's it, I give up. <laughs> but you've got to give yourself a chance, you've got to give yourself the opportunity. They didn't have the skills when they first picked up a brush, no matter what people say. If people say that they do, they're lying, because I know that they don't. You've got to practice, practice, and practice, and you'll get better and better and better until you're a master like me. <laughs> remember, always pick yourself up. Remember, remember I said that. But if this is your first painting, if you're if you're thinking, right, I'm going to paint this on black, it's my first one, I'm going to have a go. If it doesn't work, that's it, I give up. <laughs> and don't think like that. You've got to be positive and be realistic at the same time. I mean, I don't think I'm the next uh, Rembrandt. <laughs> I'd like to aim to be as good as Rembrandt or Van Gogh or Turner or Constable, my my heroes, my art heroes, but realistically, you know, it's always going to be a goal. It's always going to be an aim. And that's, that's as far as you need to think of it. <laughs> Someone will say to you, oh, be realistic. You're never going to be as good as those people. You're nowhere near. And they're the people you don't want to listen to. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm getting some yellow. Yellow and green, look. Chrome yellow and sap green. We need to sparkle up some of these areas because they're lighter. They've got light in them. Like this leaf here, it's getting light there and it's getting light here. Here. See how that looks like it's kind of folding, so we need it to that goes like that, that's quite nice, and then a little bit underneath, not too much, don't want too much there. I'm tempted to just do a little... Just little dabs there, you can't really see. It's a bit of light and then we've got light on this leaf, some there and there. And there. The light. And then we've got a light hitting under this underside of this leaf. Not too much though, it's gonna be less. So we let it mix with the uh, the dark. a bit of light maybe on this one that goes kind of like that a bit of light but not too much and then on this big leaf we'll Give this a bit more. I just got a little bit of blue in my colour there. That was a 
bit too dull there. Oh, I quite like that. Let's get a bit of getting a bit of the ultramarine blue in my colour. Just to give these leaves a bit more life. Ultra, ultra. There we go. What's that look like? Bit of a shadow here. Bit of a shadow there as well. Okay, quite like that. Quite like the way that's looking. I think I need a bit of light just hitting here and this underside here. sit back have a look at that we need to think about this I'll just put a little bit of green on that there and then uh, here In a few lines there just to uh, show form. Now, someone will say you shouldn't have a leaf there. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, maybe you shouldn't. In technical terms, maybe that's a bad move. But you have a look at a lot of sunflower paintings and uh, they might never put leaves in positions like that. So then that makes my painting unique. And that's what I mean about decisions and uh, you learning the rules and then ignoring the rules. You learn them and then ignore them. So then things like this happen. Things that you unexpected happen on the canvas. You get really excited about it because this is different to what everyone else is gonna do. start getting excited like I am really excited because I'm starting to really get into a flow of painting so I used a bit of blue there bit of uh, bit of blue and red look mixed on my dirty brush bit of blue and red I'm really going for these dark areas now Right, really like that so far. 
Just so you know, this is just the Bob Ross filbert brush that I've got. Good brushes. I like them. Right, let's move on because we need to put the flower in. We need to get that flower in because then once all the petals are in, things are going to look a lot better. We could do with this brush, but it's dirty. So I'm going to give it a wipe. my favorite brush really <laughs> at the moment we have favorites as we the more we paint you start getting favorite brushes because you start using it a lot and you think oh I like the way that feels I want to use that brush I think I like this brush it's my favorite more paper, just wiping it, giving it a wipe, getting some yellow, chrome yellow, and bedding it into the brush, and that way you can clean them without cleaning them, <laughs> that'll probably do it. I'll probably do it, giving it a good wipe. And then we can load it, because I'm going to load this brush now for the yellow, chrome yellow. Remember, chrome yellow. Remember what I said, the uh, petal, chrome yellow look. Let's get some petals going. So what that one there, that one goes like that. We don't need to do it exact, we just need to do it good. There. Loads of paint. Put this one in here. Make one up there. Make one up there as well. Some more colour. Um, I really do load my brush. Look at that. It's properly full to the brim. I'm going to put some yellow in there. And some there. You get blue on it. You just pick up more colour and go like that. <laughs> Doesn't really matter to be honest. Sometimes, you know, if you're doing a really complex one, which is what I'm going to try, because I've got to try different methods, it's just it'll take too long to film, but I'm going to try one where I paint it in stages. You can try that. <laughs> Just 
just letting that mix a little bit as I'm doing it, as I'm creating the shape. Sometimes I need a bit more yellow. I'll just pick some more yellow up. You can make decisions um, on whether you want to pull your yellow from the outside in or from the inside out because it will change things slightly different depending on what you do. I just wanted to get that done. Just get a bit of pure yellow on the... Ah, like that. More yellow here. Here, bit of it. There's a bit there. I hope these uh, videos help you out if you're uh, having to go at painting a sunflower or something. When you get blue on your brush, just get a piece of paper, just wipe it off, reload your brush, loads of chrome yellow, back at it again. Load it, load it, and load it some more. There's a gap there, let's put a bit of colour in. <laughs> a bit of the red colour. Bit of that red right in there before I come across with my other with my yellow again. Just need to wipe my brush again. Sit back, have a look at this. Have a drink. Think about it. Think about what you're doing. Load your brush again. And decide to go right there. looking a bit too boring there. So I'll put that in. So let's do this leaf here. I mean petal. <laughs> loads of paint, loads of paint. Quite light pressure, look. You can do that. Bit more there. Oh, the blue. <laughs> <laughs> damn you, blue. Damn you. More the other. You can't beat me, Blue. You can't beat me. I've got tons of paint. I can keep going. You've already been painted. Oh no. <laughs> Fighting with the sky. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, let's sit back and have a look at that. Areas that I want. Hmm, I quite like that. Needs cleaning up, of course. this yellow get some of that red the red and brown this reddish brown color now and we can start cleaning areas up where we want Okay, and I'll sit back and have a look. I do like that. Um, I'm going to get some red. So this is going into the world of me. <laughs> I get some of this red look and I tap. Just tap. Just tapping like that. You get a bit of paint on your brush. And then to get that, I'm going to just tap it. tapping it because you've got a bit of texture there and I want to get that warm texture I also want shadow in there which seems to die there using my finger there you can do that Put that in there as well yeah I think that'll do I think that'll do Got some little bits of light. But I want you to look at the sunflower. Yeah, I do quite like that. <laughs> I think we'll call this one finished because uh, I don't want to bodge it up sometimes. If you keep going, just wipe my fingers. I'll eat the yellow. <laughs> yeah, sometimes if you keep going and going and going, it might not work as well. So sometimes it gets better and better and better. Sometimes it gets worse and worse and worse. <laughs> so I think I'll sign this one. I think we'll uh, call this one finished. 
Got a bit of yellow and orange. Yellow and orange? Yellow and red. Top tip. Yellow and red makes orange. <laughs> what do you mean you already knew that? Oh, damn. I'm trying to teach on here and everyone's a know-it-all. <laughs> right. Yellow and red. Mixed together. Make a JB. Do I want my JB right on this leaf? Not really. Where do I want it? I think I'll put it over here this time. J. B. Yeah, so there you go. And then... <laughs> So tempting. I was tempted to paint in a bee. Because there was bees everywhere. Bees. No. Just darken that there. Mm, that's better. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to call that one finished. So thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gives you an idea on painting sunflowers and maybe you're going to do one. So I hope you do and enjoy yourself. Let us know if it goes well or if it doesn't go well. It'll go well. I'm sure it will. <laughs> brushes down so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in another episode cheers bye